My name is Lynn Evenkamp. I'm a longtime resident of Roland Heights and I've lived here about 40 years. I've seen this community change from a small rural community to one of increasing density. I saw more and more houses and apartments than multi-residences come. Residents become con came, became concerned about balanced and orderly growth and this gave rise to the need and development of a community plan. This plan has served us well when it was followed. Except for a few cases, the Planning Commission really has tried to follow it. The Canyon Residences is asking for preferential treatment to construct a project of immense size that would make a mockery of our plan and make them rich at our expense. Other developers seeing this project are submitting proposals of similar high density. This is only the first of many, if approved. I'm very active in this community. Many people ask me a lot of questions about this project, which is the first of many others. And here are some of the questions with my answers. First of all, what are the yard signs and the picketing rallies all about? Well, residents display these yard signs and they picket to raise awareness of the immense size of the Canyon Residences project and the probability that it would lead to other high density development throughout the community. Has the property already been sold is another question. As I understand it, the escrow for the sale of the property is still open and it won't close until the developer gets the project approved from the county. Is there a lack of available apartments in Roland Heights? Emphatically, no. There is currently approximately a 20% vacancy rate in community apartments. We already have our fair share of multifamily units more than surrounding communities and people need to consider that there are numerous properties zoned for such developments under our community plan. The next question is, is Southland School a thriving educational asset to the community? Yes, from the class that graduates this year, five students, nearly 10% of their class applied to Harvard University and have been invited back for a second interview. That speaks to success. It would be a shame to lose this excellent educational resource from our community. I say don't bulldoze a thriving school. Building high density apartments on the Southland School property would be the wrong place to build. For these reasons and other reasons, I urge Earth residents of Roland Heights to stand up and oppose the process of amending our Roland Heights community plan. If we stand together, we can be successful in this and we can get Los Angeles County's attention.